I never thought you can actually make money from blogging. When I made $7,000 from this blog article, I only had like 500 followers. No joke. Hey everyone, this is Tina from Content Creators Club and I help content creators automate their traffic, income, and content. And I really want to set the stage here. Before I began writing on Medium, I saw a lot of people talking about how much money they were making from the platform and and people kept telling me that it was a way to make passive income. But honestly, looking at the results that I have from my Medium after writing two years on the platform, I honestly can't say that Medium has been a sustainable income source for me as a content creator. Here's why I actually think majority of people get this wrong when they're thinking about making money from blogging. Now, if you're not familiar with the Medium Partner Program, essentially it's where if a person is a paying subscriber for the Medium platform, if they read your content, then you get a portion of their subscription. Therefore, you get the earnings from the platform itself. But after two years writing on the platform, I'm not seeing a ton of progress when it comes to consistent passive income. Now, it makes me a couple dollars here and there, but I won't say that it's anything life changing in terms of actually like sustainable money to live in America. But there is one rule to finance that I think can definitely be applied to medium writing as well as blogging. And the principal core rule is diversifying. The goal of diversifying is that you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. It's better for you to put all your eggs in multiple baskets so that say, for example, the big bad wolf decides to steal a basket. You have two more baskets for you to be able to live off of right now the way that you can make multiple income streams from blogging is through the medium partner program through affiliate marketing through digital products now the core thing that i'm going to be talking about in this video is affiliate marketing so when i really thought about this when i thought about how i wanted to diversify diversify my income stream i really thought of affiliate marketing because i personally love recommending products that i use and love myself but i wanted it to also play on to the fact that medium has these great benefits in terms of high domain authority you have the opportunity to rank well on google pretty quickly and i thought to myself well if i rank high on google and you know leverage google search maybe I can put affiliate marketing into play here. And that's exactly what I did. So let me tell you the story on how I exactly did this. Well, one thing that you need to know when it comes to affiliate marketing is that there are two types of affiliate products that you could sell. You can either tell, sell low ticket affiliate products or you can sell high ticket affiliate products. Now, in the stage of life that I was in, I was really thinking to myself, it takes the same amount of time, energy and effort to sell one affiliate product. Might as well go all, all in on a high ticket affiliate product so you can get high commissions on the back end from your blog articles. Now, the way that I decided to do this is one thing that you need to know is to always have integrity with any product that you sell when it comes to affiliate marketing. There was this course that I actually really loved and used myself. And at the time they were looking for affiliates. And I was like, you know what? I have this blog. Now, one thing I would say is that when it comes to affiliate marketing, a common myth is that you need a big audience. When I made $7,000 from this blog article, I only had like 500 followers, no joke. But the one thing that I would say is that once when you, you know, have found a high ticket affiliate product that actually you've used, that you can benefit from, that feels very natural for you to actually promote to your audience, what you're wanna gonna do is you wanna sign up for the affiliate program, make sure that you're from the affiliate so you can get your own affiliate link. Now, this is where Medium comes into play in terms of leveraging the platform to make money and how I made $7,000 off of one blog article is that there are three types of content pieces that I was doing when I was testing this blog writing content. One, writing a direct review, right? So again, Medium is a great platform because it leverages, you know, the search engine. It has high domain authority. So it's easier for your articles to rank on Google rather than if you're to start from scratch with like a WordPress blog, right? So if you're using keywords such as, you know, 
X affiliate product review, then you are really going to be targeting those type of individuals who have high buy, high buyer intent. These are the people that are directly typing onto the platform. They, they want to see the experiences that other students have had when it comes to using that product. Now, the second article that I wrote was actually storytelling. So I knew that this product was going to be really good for the side hustle niche because the product that I actually purchased was a side hustle course that actually, you know, made me hundreds and thousands of dollars. But what was really great about this is that you can write content where it caters to a niche and you can actually do some form of storytelling on telling them, you know, great examples of this is how I went from this to this in X amount of time, really showcasing the steps and strategies that you took to get there and then leveraging that high ticket affiliate product to implement it throughout your storytelling process of like, hey, you know, I actually really recommend this course. I've taken it myself. This is my results. You can read this review and then recommending and promoting the product that way. Now we want to get into step two on how do you actually get people to read your articles, to read your content? Well, the one thing that I want you to know is that it's not enough, again, for you to just only depend on Google or to depend on the platform. Now, with my experience in lead generation in the past, I kind of really want to play into the buyer's mindset think about you know the decisions that they make in order for them to actually make a purchase for what whatever product they're actually you know purchasing now i know the way that i like to shop is before i even go and purchase anything i actually like to go on the internet and search reviews go to forums go to online communities to see the experiences of other people that have purchased that course and so that's exactly what I did. Because I knew that this affiliate product would work really well with both the side hustle niche, but also the targeted niche that you know they're targeting, which was specifically in the crypto space, I really thought to myself, okay, what are the communities that people are looking within in order to find you know maybe resources on some crypto courses, things like that. And I really found a really great forums within, you know, Reddit, Quora, even just taking into account Facebook groups, like really thinking about those places. And one of the things that I would say is that if you're going to this, these communities, again, value first, and then you can recommend any resources that have actually helped you because you're with integrity of, hey, you've actually taken this course, you've actually used and recommend this product. That is why you're affiliate. That's why I personally believe in affiliate marketing because it's just a great way for you to get paid for promoting product products that you love. But essentially what I would do is if I actually looked on those forums and people were asking for course recommendations, paid product recommendations, I would simply actually just say, hey, you know, I've been a student of XYZ course. I actually wrote a review that I think may be beneficial for you. And then you just take those content pieces that you've already wrote. And all you have to do is actually just share the information. It's not salesy whatsoever because all you're doing is you're just giving them more information for them to make a decision on whether or not they make a purchase. Now, I would say to be completely transparent that you are an affiliate, but also just completely state as well that even though you're an affiliate, you actually fully recommend any products that you promote and that you do go through a very particular process before you promote the products. Now, I would say that actually worked very well in terms of actually driving traffic to my blog articles because I had an audience size at the time of less than 500 followers on the Medium platform. But you know what I would say is that even even though you may not have a large audience when it comes to affiliate marketing, that does not deter you from being able to make money from affiliate marketing. And that is why you use strategies such as forums, communities, being able to promote your articles within those forums and communities to really help and leverage that out.
And then in some weird way, you kind of just let the internet do its own thing. You let the internet, you know, go through the communities, read your content. And from that point, people just make their own decisions. And this was all an experiment when I first started this process. And since then, I've actually been able to actually create a methodology on how I've been able to make money from blog articles, specifically with affiliate marketing. And it isn't until like one day I actually woke up and I got a sale notification and I was like, holy shit, this actually works. So again, I do think it's possible for you to actually make money from affiliate marketing with us than 500 followers. You don't need a large audience and you don't need to create a blog from scratch. Like seriously, Medium is a great place to starting point. Now, let's kind of recap on why I think this worked in the first place. Number one, the one thing that I think worked really well is just being completely honest and transparent, especially on internet forums. I feel like online forums such as Reddit um, and communities like those, they have like a very high like understanding of when things are BS and when things are not BS, right? But if you come to the point where you're just saying transparently like, hey, I'm a student, hey, my, I'm an affiliate, then at that point, you can have people make their own decision. At that point, it's really about messaging in such a way where it's like, I'm just here to help you make a decision. Here are content pieces that I've wrote that I think can help you. Whether or not you choose to move forward, that's on you, right? So you're not making it in such a way where it's a pressurized kind of sales container where, you know, you have to purchase this product. No, that's not the goal of an affiliate. The goal of an affiliate is just to simply drive traffic to the product and let ultimately let the customer make their own decision from that point on. So I would say honesty and transparency worked amazingly. The next thing that I would say from this case study and experiment is that high ticket affiliate products work really well because A, they don't need a ton of conversions in order for you to make a ton of money. Now, I would say I only made like maybe like three to like five sales, something like that. Very small amount, very a very small number. But ultimately, that ended up being in over $7,000 in commissions, right? So that is a true example of if you're going to invest in time in affiliate marketing, it may be more advantageous for you to invest in high ticket affiliate products versus low ticket affiliate products because it takes the same amount of time, energy and effort for you to sell one versus the other. So you might as well sell the high ticket one and make a bigger commission on the back end. Now, the last thing that I think went a very long way in this process is just providing content, providing content that actually helps your buyers make a decision. Again, there is no kind of pushy elements in this where when you create content that does the selling for you, really from that point on, all you're gonna do is just promote the content to the places and to the communities that actually need that type of information, right? Because if you are here to bridge that gap where it makes it easier for people to make a decision, then people actually reward you. People actually, I've had messages where people actually go out of their way to purchase through my affiliate link because my blog articles help them make a decision. And I think it's when you come from that point Point of in service of actually trying to help people make a decision and not really having any pressure to have them make the purchase but just simply to inform them is when it actually goes a long way so in a nutshell i would say that this past year I've learned a lot from affiliate marketing, but more importantly, I've learned that you don't need a large audience to make money from affiliate marketing. And I've been able to make $7,000 from one blog article and it's been able to diversify my income streams from blog, from blogging. So if you're someone who's looking to get into affiliate marketing, I actually have a freebie for you that I would recommend for you to check in the description. That actually is a database that allows you to organize, store, all your affiliate links. I really love this database that I created. It's been very helpful for not only me, but 100 plus students have actually used that database because it's just a great resource for you to actually store, track, organize all your links in one place because there's a lot of different affiliate programs and trying to go to different websites to find the your links is just way too difficult. So I just put it all in this database and I think that's gonna be beneficial for you. So until then, toodles, I'll see you in the next video.